The days of February are fading away here on the mountain, and the melodies of spring can be heard just around the corner. It is a temperamental time of year, with winter and spring in a match of memories and hope. Though the land is still very barren and dark, the smallest signs of spring can be felt in the quietude of the afternoon. The sun lingers just a bit longer these days, and on the milder mornings, the birds have been breaking out in song. I have started the process of spring cleaning the little house and organizing my seeds for the spring garden. It seems of more importance than ever this year to improve my knowledge of growing and preserving foods and medicines. I urge you, friend, even if it feels you are starting so small, do one thing to become more learned in the old arts of self-sufficiency this year. But even of more importance than that, I urge you to seek peace where it can only truly be found. There may be seasons coming upon this world of beating rain and blazing heat, but if you are rooted in the Word of God and kept by His abiding Spirit, you will be like the oak tree planted by the waters, and when the storm comes and the sun beats, you will continue to bear sweet fruit. Seek Him while He may be found and believe in His name that no matter what comes upon this world, you will have peace, the kind of peace that surpasses all understanding. Friends, we wanted to thank you so much as always from the bottom of our hearts for coming back to our little house on the mountain today and visiting with us. And if you want more information of the recipe on the grain-free almond cookies that you saw in today's video, you can find that on our website, on the blog, at www dot our little house on the mountain dot com and lord willing i will see all of you right here on the next one bye friends